This article says a new lawsuit has been filed against Antera. Let's check it out. Investors believe that the hedge fund is taking advantage of its deal with AMC, inevitably affecting all security holders. Now, Antera Capital is now facing federal securities litigation, seeking the return of its alleged short swing profits. The lawsuit filed by two AMC investors accuse the hedge fund, its affiliates and founder, HG, of making more than $20 million on sales of ape units and AMC common stock purchase less than six months earlier. Federal securities law requires corporate leaders and major stockholders to give short swing profits back to the company, a rule meant to curb insider training, says Bloomberg. The hedge fund said in a court filing last month that it has been getting threatening phone calls from people claiming to be AMC stockholders. That filing asked the Delaware judge to block the theater's operators' highly engaged base of retail investors from seeing confidential court files. Now, it cited concerns that additional disclosures could threaten the health and safety of Antero employees. The judge ultimately gave the investors restricted access. The new securities lawsuit was filed Tuesday in the U.S. District Courts of Southern District of New York. Now, the investor leading in this case is Dennis D. and Mark Rubenstein said they made amend to their roughly $20 million damage request as they learn more details about the trades they're targeting. The shareholders represented in the case are the following. So this is pretty crazy. Some of the apes are actually going head-to-head -head with Antera, which is a large fund. This is going to be interesting to see how this turns out. Remember, the stock market is no longer based on fundamentals or supply and demand. Just hedge funds endlessly exploiting loopholes, fails to deliver off exchange, suppression, short and store campaigns, Congress is bribed and the SEC is a joke. On top of that, where you're now in a market where it feels like they are able to make new rules as they go. And my question to them is simple. How is the fact that they're making new rules as they go, or trying to at least, how is that not going to create massive market uncertainty? The answer is, is it will.